Hey guys, welcome back. Well, some super new features in ClickSense that is uh, dimensional reference lines, and it can be really helpful. Like I have a chart over here where two different things has happened in my timeline. That is, we have launched a new website and some bugs were fixed. So it's super cool that you can actually have dimensional reference lines instead of just uh, regular reference lines, right? Let's have a look at how to build a graph like this with your different dimensional reference lines and tracking progress across it and color coding it. So I'm gonna pull in my dimension calendar date and here I'm just gonna say sales. Good, we have the sales here. And then I'm going to go into my add-ons and over here, I have dimensional reference lines, so I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add the label here and reference lines expression. And the expression, well, I'm gonna make the date. Kid, let's click on apply, and now we see this here. And I'm gonna give it a name. So make date is just gonna make the date out of the numbers that I put in based on date format looks like in the script editor, right? So over here, I'm gonna say line is solid. Um, I can have a colored background if I want. I can even change the color. So I can go in and change the color of the background that I want, good. And I can give it a name. And here I'm gonna say launched. Here we see it, good. Now let's make another one. So I'm gonna say add a reference line. change the color again and colored background I'm going to give it the name as kid and I can change the type of line to dashed that's how you do this let's color code this now so I'm just going to go and copy these two dates because uh, I'm a lazy um, uh, so let's go here I'm just going to copy this one let's make date and the other is kid so I've copied this. So essentially, I want this aspect of it to be in a different color. And then after my first dimensional reference lines, a different color. And then after my second dimensional reference line, another color. Good. So now I'm just going to choose the chart, go into appearance, go into color, switch this off. Here I'm going to change it to expression. And in the expression, I'm going to write, well, if field is calendar date, is actually less than the first one uh, that is this then in that case magenta that is the color good else if date is greater than or equal to this and calendar date less than or equal to my second dimensional line then green else if the calendar date is greater than my dimensional line then i want it to be let's make it red for now apply and voila we have different colored segments cool right this is what we want so i'll have this in the clicksense cheat sheet as well check out the link for the course below people are absolutely loving it Please leave a like, it really helps. See you in the next one. Peace.